Hi, I'm Michael Brown, Product and Sales Training Manager for Hyundai Material Handling. Today we're going to demo the 30L-9A. When I do a demo, I like to break the truck into four areas. I start with the mast, then move to the operator's compartment, then talk about the service area, and finish up with the tail of the truck. We call that getting the most out of the demo. We've got these demo pocket guides. We can have them printed out, but at the end of this, we're also going to give you a link to where you can get a PDF, download to your tablet, so that you can do the demo right off of your tablet, or even download it to your iPhone and put it in iBooks, and you have the walk around pocket guide right at your disposal. Okay, we're going to start out with the mast. One of the first things you're going to notice on the Hyundai is our mast channels. Larger, thicker, and the biggest thing you're going to notice is minimal weldments on the side. As compared to the competitors who use extra weldments up here as mass stiffeners. The next thing you're going to notice is our canned load rollers. Our load rollers are canned three degrees which accepts the side to side motion when you're at the top side shifting. Unlike some of the competitors that just use straight load rollers. The next thing that keeps this mast in precise alignment throughout the life of the truck is our cross members. Notice at the top we've got cut steel and in the middle we've got the bent steel. Again, comparing two competitors who put weld joints at the susceptible areas, that's probably not the best idea. The next thing that we want to hit that's quantifiably different than the competitors is our six carriage roller is standard. Others have four carriage rollers as standard, so you want to make sure that when we're comparing apples to apples that you make them put in the option to go six. The next thing we want to talk about is our hydraulic fittings. On our hydraulic fittings, we use flat face O-ring seals. Flat here, flat here with an O-ring. The nice thing about this is you can't over tighten it. So you tighten it and we're good. Competitors tend to use JIC flared fittings. It's metal on metal. Most folks think the best way to keep this thing from leaking is to tighten. And what happens is they over tighten, which actually strips the threads and creates the leak. So what we're doing here is we're really minimizing human error when we're doing our servicing. The other thing that's quantifiably different on the front end of our truck is our standard wet disc brakes. This is our disc plate. There's four of them on each side and this is going to save the customer money and cost of ownership. A typical brake job on a competitive disc brake system is going to be over $2,000. With proper maintenance, this should last the life of the truck. You'll notice that we use canned three degree rollers. What that does is it accepts the side to side movement when you have your forks raised and your side shifting. One of our other competitors uses straight load rollers which does not accept the side to side movement which will create more expensive cost of ownership throughout the life of the truck. Moving to the operator's compartment. First thing you're going to notice is a three point entry lowest step height in the industry, three points, making getting on and off the truck very safe. The first thing the operator is going to notice as soon as they get on the truck is our standard full suspension seat. That's an upgrade for most of our other competitors. The other thing they're going to notice is the biggest floor area in the industry. So the lowest step height, largest floor area, and standard full suspension seat. It's going to keep that operator working hard all day long because he's more ergonomic than the others. Next thing they're going to notice is the tilt steer wheel, which is very nice, and seat side hydraulics. So these seat side hydraulics are not only ergonomic for the operator, but when we pop the hood, you'll notice that it's very easy for the technicians to get to as well. A couple standard features in the operator's compartment that's going to be, again, different than the competitors is our standard LED lights, standard panoramic mirror. So a lot of folks will have dual mirrors blocking visibility, actually, to the front of the truck. Just one mirror, panoramic, does the job. 
and then we have a standard rear reverse handle with a horn. A couple other great features in the cab of this truck is our electronically controlled spring applied parking brake. What this does for us is it allows us to have hill assist. If we're on a ramp, which our dash display, which I'll talk about in a minute, detects that we're on a three degree ramp and you put your foot on the brake pedal for two seconds, the emergency brake will automatically engage and it will not release until you've hit the throttle and enough RPMs have built up to move the truck forward, keeping you from rolling backwards. The uh, brake oil, and again, this is the uh, master cylinder brake oil right here, easy access to get to, and again, it is brake oil, not brake fluid. First thing you're gonna notice is the 5.6 inch LCD screen. That's really important because if you get the option of a backup camera, the dash display becomes your backup screen, which is really great. Very similar to automotive technology. Couple things you're gonna notice is the speedometer, the clock. We've got tilt inclination. We've got forward and reverse tilt inclination as well as side to side. Hour meter, speedometer, but the biggest thing about this truck that differentiates itself from the competition is the standard load weight indicator, which is right here. That's a big deal. It keeps the operator safe, keeps them from over, overloading the truck, and it also lets them know what they're lifting as far as loading tractor trailers. It's a, not a, the load weight indicator is not legal for trade, but it does keep the operator from overloading the truck, and it gives them a really good idea of what they're loading. So we're gonna start talking about the service area now. First thing we have to do is swing out the LP tank. Then we wanna make sure the steer column is all the way up before we raise the hood. So steer column's up. Nice all fingers can fit in the hood latch. You'll notice a couple times, a couple of our competitors, just two fingers, and if you're wearing gloves, really difficult to raise the hood. The other thing I want you to notice right away is the safety latch. Again, as the trucks get older, technician gets down in there, hood falls on top of them, that won't happen with our truck. Really easy to get to the daily checks. You've got your air filter, you've got your oil, you also have your battery disconnect with the key. So to be able to gain cowl to counterweight access, you just remove the floor mat, So our floor plates, no tools, two pieces. Take that out. Pull the other one, you disconnect your throttle pedal. And I've got cow to counterweight access. Dipstick for your transmission, all of the daily checks, very easy access. As I mentioned earlier, Having seaside hydraulics makes it much easier for the technicians as well. The uh, valve box is over here compared to underneath the cowl. Again, technicians really appreciate that. So once you've taken all the covers off, you've got access to our electronically controlled transmission. But what really sets us apart from the competitors is our Hyundai 2.4 liter 60 horsepower engine. It's one of the most productive engines in the industry, but it's the most fuel efficient. To do the same amount of work as some of the competitors, we're up to 13% more fuel efficient. Let me put it another way. A fuel tank costs about $30. You get a shift out of that. 250 working days a year, that's $975 worth of fuel savings per truck, per shift. A guy with multiple fleet, that adds up really quick. So moving to the tail of the truck, I'll close the hood and I'll swing the LP tank back around. You'll notice on our new 9 Series, we've got a great counterweight, great openings for airflow, keeping the truck running cool, better flow for the radiator. But the biggest thing that sets us apart from the competition is our steer axle. There's three types of steer axles in the industry. Toyota uses a three-piece 
fabricated steel design with needle bearings and kingpin. It doesn't accept a lot of energy up and down, therefore it puts a lot of pressure on the components. Most of the other competitors use a cast and ductile iron axle, similar to us, but they stick with the kingpin and needle bearings. Taking some pressure off of the components because of the axle design, but still using inferior components. What we use is a cast and ductile iron axle with taper roller bearings. Taper roller bearing at the top, as well as the bottom, and you'll notice these things are built to last. That wraps up our demo for the 30L-9A. Don't forget to emphasize the standard features that we have as compared to the competition. LED lights, full suspension seat, the dash display, wet disc brakes, the most fuel efficient engine in the industry, all backed by the best warranty. Three years, 4,000 hours. With that, I'd like to say thank you. We'll see you next time.